Ashes of Creation's Alpha 2 testing is set to begin within the next three months. At some point in July, August, or September, we are expecting to step foot into the world of Vera for the first time since Alpha 1. But could there be a potential delay? Intrepid has continued to reassure us that it will be quarter 3. They have stated they don't want to provide a timeline if they cannot hit it again, and they haven't had the best track record of this in the past, and honestly, I believe that. But they have given us a timeline now, so it is expected that they hit it. There's a lot riding on Alpha 2, not just when it comes to testing, but with the hype around the game after 7 years of development. There are over 100,000 players who will be jumping in. The content creator program is expected to launch with this event as well, and you will see tons of content flooding through the internet from creators big and small talking about the game when Alpha 2 starts. Even though it is an Alpha, it's not a complete game and will be far from perfect. But the pressure is on for Intrepid, and it is something that they will want to get right this time. This last month, Intrepid dropped the verbal NDA on PI testing surrounding the Node War system that has been going through internal testing. And with that, there has been a ton of good information to come from those whom were able to take part. But with all of that good info, there is also a bit of information that may be concerning to some, as it might be a sign that Ashes of Creation may be cutting it close when it comes to that quarter. 3 date. Will Intrepid Studios have Ashes of Creation ready for the influx of over 100,000 players trying to play their game without the servers completely breaking? This is something that developers struggle to do even come launch of these MMOs, with years of experience when it comes to servers. Take PAX Day for example, which just went into early access. The first day has been plagued with server issues, and they only peaked at about 10k players on Steam, plus however many people had actually purchased through the website and just used the launcher. It's some kind of sad joke at this point that when an MMORPG launches, we all just expect it to be unplayable for days. And according to some of the Phoenix Initiative members that I've spoken with, the beginning of the wars testing that they went through was pretty rough, and in some instances, unplayable in those first tests. Keep in mind that this was with less than 100 players in one area. Intrepid did manage to react fast though, and the difference between test 1 and test 6 was night and day, as Intrepid quickly adapted and responded to the feedback while fixing some of the larger issues that plagued the servers. But again, this was only for around 100 players from what we see of party sizes in the showcase. Alpha 1 had about 16,000 total registered users, and only a fraction of them were on at one time. Even if every single Alpha 1 tester did log in at some point, spread out between all of the live servers, those numbers are far from what Intrepid will be handling when Alpha 2 launches. They might be able to fill up one or two servers depending on the cap, and stress test certain things when they bring in those testers, but it isn't quite the same as feeding in thousands upon thousands of players at the same time. Alpha 1 was also on Unreal Engine 4, had a limited server cap that I believe was around 1000 players, and was on a smaller map with minimal features in the game, and even then they still were played with server issues at the beginning of Alpha 1 testing that made the first days of A1 pretty unbearable at times. So moving to Unreal Engine 5 along with bringing the actual world into play will take some trial and error. Steven said in May that they aren't ready nor do they want to bring Alpha 1 testers into the mix just yet, and while they will slowly start rolling out those invites soon, part of the reason behind this could be because they aren't sure their servers are ready for that amount of people. If they were, well, they'd probably bring in all the Alpha 1 testers at once. Intrepid has made it clear, this is a true Alpha, and at the point we are at, not much will delay its launch. If there are bugs or missing content or things that aren't working quite right, who really cares? That's the expectation that Intrepid has been laying out from the beginning, and one that people need to start coming to terms with so you aren't extremely disappointed because your expectations are set way too high. The only thing I really see delaying Alpha 2 is networking or server stability. If Intrepid starts to bring in the Alpha 1 testers and the servers continue to break down faster than they can fix them, then they will have a lot of work ahead of them to be able to support the 100,000 plus testers coming in the door soon after. You can't run a test if these servers are dead, and they only have about 3 months left to get more numbers in the door to make sure these servers can withstand a larger amount of people. Time is running out, the pressure is on, and it will be September before we know it. If we don't see the pre-Alpha 2 testing start to ramp up soon, well, that could be a very bad sign indeed.
There are also people out there who think that potential MMO releases could delay Alpha 2. This was in fact the case for Alpha 1, when it was originally dropping around the same time as WoW Classic, an ESO expansion, and a Final Fantasy expansion, something that could potentially hurt the testing numbers Intrepid was hoping to achieve. And we have a similar setup going into Quarter 3. PAX Day Early Access just launched, you have World of Warcraft next expansion, Throne in Liberty in September, and even some smaller MMOs in the mix such as Brighter Shores expected to drop in Q3. This is a pretty big year for MMOs, even if none of them are up to our standards these days. But I do not think that these will impact Alpha 2's date this time. The amount of testers are greater, and Alpha 2 is meant to run for months if not years, not a single month as Alpha 1 did. So Intrepid is going to continue to run into a wave of testers coming and going throughout the whole process, playing new games at launch, and coming back when Intrepid adds new content. If anything, players playing other games at the start of Alpha 2 may in fact help the game by taking away some of the potential players that could ease up on stressing those servers those first few weeks. Ultimately though, at the end of the day, an alpha delay is possible for a number of situations because it is game development and things could go horribly wrong. But I want to believe Intrepid has learned from their past of giving false promises on dates or time frames and that we will in fact see Alpha 2 in the next three months as they've been promising us since December, even if it is a rocky start when it comes to servers. We are in fact MMO players and server issues aren't exactly new to us, especially going into an alpha.